you want to Please don't be polite Cause I like your attitude well, folks, this is the new version of what we used to call the bowler trailer. Fiberglass made in Canada. I am so impressed with this unique product. I'm enjoying learning about this from the actual builders who are right here at the RV show at the Tradex here in Abbotsford. Hi, I'm Jason Jong from Armadillo Trailers from Enderby, British Columbia, and this is my brother. I'm Mike Jong. And who's the builder? I build them and he organizes all the parts and pieces and puts uh, gets me everything I need to put them together. It's a family operation. Well guys, I'm going to be very honest with you. I fell in love with this armadillo. I've seen it. I've seen the video on YouTube. I'm going to do another one. And your product is the most unique RV product in this entire RV uh, show today, I think. Thank you. Thank you. The, uh, the build quality, the innovative way to use space in such a small uh, area is fantastic. Um, so if you guys could just um, tell the viewers more about this product and, and where they can find it and where they can buy it and where they can find out more. Well, they're built custom in Enderby. Um, we build them in Enderby. So it's all of our surfaces are built with laminate. So they're really customizable to what you want. Um, everybody has their own flavor they, they want to build. So, uh, so we can do anything you can find on an Arborite chip. So it starts with that, being custom. Um, a lot else? of it is trying to take a lot of the amenities of these larger trailers, the fridge, stove, the furnace, the hot water, most of the things that make comfort uh, for when camping and just basically put it into a small, lightweight, uh, manageable package that uh, is uh, easily pulled with a lightweight vehicle instead of having to have a, a large truck or something to pull it. The, the table uh, system, the way that all slides around is, is quite interesting. D yeah. dem demonstrate that to the people. Yeah, it's got to be a functioning space, so make it so that you can uh, use it for different purposes, have it so that you don't have to be so confined into an area. This just makes everything a little more ergonomic, easier to get in and out of the, the dinette space instead of having to sneak out behind a table. This gives you a little more freedom of movement. We try to put radiuses on all the corners to make it a friendly space. Um, oh yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, all your all yeah, your all, all, all the, the cabinets, all the the countertops, all have a what? round corners. Just that's, to, that's the funny thing about this product. The more I look at everything, the more I see uh, thought and detail. Yeah. Every, everywhere I look, there's more thought and detail put into this than most products. We try to make these soft and padded, so you do if you do bump your head on it, it's not nearly so bad. Um, yeah, it's just it's try to make it feel warm in here. It's uh, it's kind of a cozy place. Oh, where and there's even a mirror on the porthole. Yeah, you bet. That is a great idea. Everything's LED lighting inside and out, so you're able to uh, uh, conserve power where you can. We try to make things efficient. They're just efficient by nature because of their size. Now, why'd you guys go with the round porthole type design versus the standard uh, windows like you have on the just, outside? It's more just so it doesn't leak. Uh, it's hard to get something flat to seal on a round surface, so uh, a round uh, window made sense for us. That was the most practical way to go. Absolutely, that's brilliant. Um, we are coming out with a different version in the spring, um, a similar uh, trailer, 13 footer, it's going to have a bathroom and larger picture windows because uh, it's going to have more flat surfaces on it, but for now, uh, with this model, we think that this is the most durable way to do it. Now folks, if you guys don't know where Enderby is, that's in the north end of the Okanagan in British Columbia, Canada, so this is a proud Canadian product and I love featuring proud Canadian companies and products because I am Canadian myself. But the interesting thing about this product is it can be built uh, to suit exactly as you want. On the most part, uh, with a lot of RVs, a lot of the finishes are, you can't select them. You got a couple of color choices. To us, it's nice to have something unique. I like to have things that are unique. So I try to make um, this space something that you can kind of personalize a bit. So having these two surfaces made out of Arbrite or, or Formica, they allow you to um, mix it up. If your taste is uh, a dark red cherry wood, you could choose that, or a light blonde honey uh, type of a wood, you could do that, right down to uh, red, orange, green, or blue, or bright, vibrant colors. You get to personalize it to make it your own. Every Armadillo customer to this point has something unique. We haven't done two the same. Um, but that's what makes it kind of fun and exciting. When we're building these, um, we can see what the customer comes up and see what their vision's about, and that really makes it kind of, uh, more personal of a product uh, for the consumer is that they get to um, be part of the build and we get to kind of see their personality through the colors that they choose. Let's talk to you about the business end of things. Uh, uh -oh. tell, tell everybody uh -oh. about the um, 
uh, what this starts at in Canadian dollars and, and, and how far up you can go and all the options uh, so, that are available. So they start at twenty four nine. That's our base price. So that's giving you a really simple uh, package. So you don't you don't have any appliances in it. So online on our website, you can start with the base, and you can build your own trailer how you want it. So it's um, your fridge. Some people want a fridge. Some people want an ice box. So you can just really uh, personalize it the way you want. So how about turnaround time? Since these are made with your your bare hands. Yeah. Uh, what's the turnaround time? If I put an order in today, how today, long will it take? You got about it's about six month wait right now. You're that popular. Well, it's getting that way. So, it's getting that yeah, way. Yeah, yep. So six it's months. It's horrible to be popular, isn't well, it? Well, <laughs> it's 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 it, it, it takes time to build them. So right. you know, we, right now we can build about four a month. Um, you know that we're happy with, without mm -hmm. rushing through it, right? Um, so yeah, about six months right now. RV season is starting. It's spring will be upon us. Um, are people welcome to stop by to see absolutely, you in Enderby? Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. Uh, we our address is two hundred five Brickyard Road. Uh, I'll put a graphic up. And, yep. You betcha. And uh, yeah, pop in anytime. We're always uh, got something on the go. Different, something different on the go. So, what are you most proud of with this build design? Hmm. Um, I think just longevity. We, so, in all fairness, the bowler that was built and designed back in the 60, late 60s, early 70s by Ray Aleko, he was a Canadian inventor that made that trailer. And it was a pop, one of the most popular trailers of that time because of its lightweight manageability. Um, what we've done is just it brought it like into the future. We gave it, a, uh, we engineered it. We're coming at it from more of an RV uh, designer uh, perspective instead of an inventor so we know what works well with RVs what doesn't work well the proper applications of adhesives and solvents and um, just really try to build something that's going to last a long time 50 years old for the bowler is not bad for something that's not engineered um, this is an engineered product so our confidence is through the roof knowing that they're going to last a long long time and that it becomes value to the customer Let's tell people about your background. You guys have a solid background in the RV industry too, don't you? Grew up in it. Dad, he was, uh, he's been, he did four, 46 years before he retired. Just retired a couple of years ago. Um, I built uh, Bigfoots in my history. I've done 15 to 20 years at Bigfoot. My brothers also worked at Bigfoot in manufacturing mm -hmm. as well. Both certified RV technicians. We went to the course at the Okanagan College in Kelowna. Got our real red seal tickets, so we kind of we know a little bit about it. We kind of grew up in the industry, and we're just trying to take the best of what we know and what we've learned over the years and apply it to a product that we can stand behind and be proud of. Um, a lot of this stuff, if I was to build myself a trailer uh, for myself personally, for my family, this is exactly what it looks like. Uh, let's show everybody how quick you can actually convert that couch into a bunk bed. Right. Let's uh, right. let's go. start the clock ticking now. All right. I'm gonna have way. a timer going here just to show everybody how how quick this does. Don't don't rush. Do it like at the, the, the typical speed of most owners would do it. Well, if I do that, I'm gonna slow it down. <laughs> Okay, so somebody jump on top and somebody jump on the bottom. Oh, you got the safety net in case yes. the kids roll out. That yeah. is, you guys thought of everything, didn't oh, you? Yeah. Safety net, fantastic. Look at that. Okay, will you jump on top, uh, take yeah, the safety right. net okay. down. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So the, the top one's obviously designed for the kids. Yeah. And the, uh, or someone short like me. Or someone short. And the, the top one is, uh, is, is narrower than the, than the, the bottom. Yeah. Fantastic. From the RV Trade Expo, keep your keep wheels, wheels on the ground. ground.